got these bad boys from Tesco. £2.75 for four real decent sized big thighs. Two packs, so that's eight. So that's £5.50. You could probably feed eight people with homemade chips and salad for around about a pound. Happy days. Here's the rest of the ingredients. Right, we've got peppers, a yellow and a red one. These are small, so if you've got big ones, use half. Half a large onion and one small one or medium one. We've got salt, we've got vinegar, we've got dried thyme, we've got chilli flakes, we've got paprika, sugar, garlic puree, pepper, lemon juice and oil. Peppers de-seeded and chopped roughly into a saucepan. Same with the onion. Good half a teaspoon of chilli flakes. Normally use the zest and juice of one lemon, but I've got no lemons, I've got this lemon juice. So about the juice of one lemon. A teaspoon of thyme, dried. One tablespoon of paprika. Three tablespoons of veg oil. Three tablespoons of malt vinegar. Half a tablespoon of sugar. Good grinding of salt and pepper. Good squeeze of garlic puree. I forgot to mention a bit of chilli powder, probably a quarter of a teaspoon. Right, I'm going to take this bad boy to the hob. I'll show you what happens next. I'll bring this up to a simmer and I want to simmer it for a good five minutes, try and get the rawness out of everything and marry everything together. Right, you see how the onions and peppers are releasing the moisture out of it. That's what I want. So it helps with the sauce, develops the flavours, and you don't get too watery marinade, the peri peri. Right, that's how I want it. Turn the heat off, let that cool down. I'll show you the next step. We're going to blitz. Well, that's cooled down, so let's blitz the bad boy. <laughs> sort of the consistency we're looking at now, the important thing is now is you've got to let this cool down because we're going to marinate the chicken in the fridge for a few hours or possibly overnight but a few hours so if you put this hot stuff onto raw chicken cold chicken you know what's going to happen bacteria builds up so cool this right now you can do it the day before or the morning before whatever all right let's prep the chicken what i do is you probably know that i cut down to the bone because that marinade will penetrate much better and you get the maximum flavor so yeah Right, that marinade's cooled down. You want to put half the marinade over the chicken and save the rest for basting while you're cooking. Get it all in. Get it all in, don't be shy. Get it in them cracks and grooves. There's no pretty way of doing it, but you've got to do it. Into the fridge to go. Minimum three hours. Overnight would be okay. You can do it in the morning and do them in barbecue at night, but in the fridge. Let's talk about zone cooking. There's two zones. There's a direct heat where all the heat source is, and then there's an indirect heat where there's no coals. So I'm going to start by putting the chicken on indirect heat, that's not over the coals. Lid on, leave it for 10 minutes. The reason why I've put them, if I put them straight on the direct heat, they're just going to burn. You've got to start them off cooking on the other side on indirect heat. Let's see how we get on. That's about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to tick them over the direct heat just to get things going a bit. Only for about a minute or two. Just to get things cooking. So that's skin side down now, just to get a bit of fat out the, out, out the skin, it starts getting that flavour now. I'll flip them back the other way for another minute or two. Okay, so this is why you want the in indirect heat, you know, you can rescue them. Back over to the indirect heat now, lid back on for another 10 minutes. Now we can start thinking about basting. Back on for five minutes, then we'll turn them over and base the other side. Right, that's set up now on that side, so turn them over to the skinless side, start basting again. Right, the beauty about chicken thighs is you can, they don't dry out as easy as breast, so you can take them over the 165, which is recommended to eat Fahrenheit. But yeah, they're so forgiving. We'll get one more baste, another tickle over the uh, direct heat, and then we'll see what result we've got there. Happy days, I love a barbecue. Right, these are done now. Barbecue's worked its magic, so we're taking them off.
Right guys, let's give it a go. I'm going a little bit in because I don't want to have my mouth full of food when I'm talking. Absolutely diamond, you got to give it a go. Like I say, you can do them in the oven. Uh, if you got a barbecue, sooner do them on the barbecue because you're going to get that flavour. Like I said, the cheapest chips, thighs. So it's barbecue on a budget. Make some homemade chips, a bit of side salad. And it's a great meal, great meal. Took about 45-50 minutes. So yeah, give it a go. Happy barbecuing.